Welcome to Rebel Rock, guys. I am Dan. This is our weekly kind of hangout. We collect music. We talk music. I got a bunch of box sets I'm still going through. If you saw the last two episodes, you saw I snagged up a bunch of really, really cool stuff. Uh, the next two episodes are stuff that either I might have had or I just, I'm not as crazy about, but I'm not upset about it. But we're going to go through it. We got a bunch of stuff. I got my Dead Street Dreamers t shirt on today. Showing some love to the boys. Uh, great Vermont band. Old friends as well. So we're going to dive right into it right now. Part three CD box set collection. So all these, I end up paying 450 for the total lot. First one we're showing today is this Dylan box set. I had all three discs already separate, but I didn't have the actual box for this. It's weird, I saw this years ago. It was missing the discs, and I left the box. I should have been like, can I have the box? And then a year later I found the discs, but obviously didn't have the box. But now we got it complete. That cover art is beautiful. Um, yeah, three CDs, a book in there, standard stuff. I feel like I have so many Dylan collections at this point that, um, it, I don't know. Maybe it's too much. It might be too much. Next, oh, this is cool too. We got this David Bowie Sound and Vision. It's hard to kind of see there. Three CD set. Different looking box set, really. Uh, yeah, this is cool. 72 page book, photos, liner notes, all that stuff. Song Sound and Visions, incredible by the way. One of my favorites. Next up, we got this Phil Spector box set. I had this one, but it was missing the fourth disc, which was all the Christmas stuff that he did. So now we got it complete. It's in the collection. I feel good about it. We know Phil Spector was a bit of a piece of shit, but made some incredible art. A lot of people shit on the Ramones album that, that Phil Spector produced. I I kind of like it. It's different. Muddy Waters. Uh, what do we got here? This is a six record set, 32 page book. Um, it's the chess box. So it's, a, it's all the prime stuff you really want. Once again, Muddy Waters, I feel like I have um, a couple collections. So but this might be the definitive one for me. I'm going to have to go through it and check it out. We got this Atlantic Rhythm and Blues, 1947 to 74. Look at that. There's a ton of stuff on here. Eight discs. So what, what do we got for heavy hitters on here? The Barkays, King Curtis, The Drifters, Roberta Flack, Benny King, Joe Turner. I mean, there's, there's a ton of stuff on here. It's cool. What is this? What is this? Oh. Um... This is the Monterey International Pop Festival box set. Cool. I don't know. Festival box sets like Woodstock and stuff like that. Doesn't do much for me. The box is pretty awesome. I'm going to have to go through this one and actually kind of see what's on there. I feel like I had a, a VHS tape that had... Um, highlights from that festival which was you know it was pretty historic I do believe we got this Pink Floyd shine on box set I ain't talking much about that I'm not huge on Pink Floyd sorry guys it just it doesn't do much for me we got another chess box we got the Willie Dixon box Obviously nowhere near as big as the, the Muddy Waters, but 
Willie Dixon's a, a staple in that, that community there. Um, Rod Stewart, storyteller. I love Rod Stewart so much, but the stuff he's done in like the last, I guess, 20 years, it's kind of tainted it. He did that whole American song book or whatever. It's just all standards and covers. It's so lame. Um, this appears to be all the good stuff. It goes from 1964 all the way to 1989. 1988 forever young is pretty much where I draw the line. I think I'm out after that But I love him. I love rod. I love faces We got the band the last waltz 40th edition Looks like we got the film and the soundtrack on here It's a great collection, too Man the Van Morrison performance on The Last Waltz where he does the kick and he's all fat and he's like out of breath. He's just bringing it. So good. All right, this is the essential King Crimson. And I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever listened to a King Crimson record. I was taking a shit the other day and actually played some on Spotify. What Friday? My cat's down here squawking. I think she's good. I I don't know about this. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna hold on to this. I'll probably listen to it and then have it move on. A couple more here. We got what is this? Yes. Years. I'll be honest. Yes, I I'm familiar with some of the the big hits and stuff. I don't I don't know the whole catalog. I was never the prog rock stuff never did much for me and to keep up with the prog rock stuff we got Jethro Tull even though Tull has a little bit of a soft spot in my heart because my mom bought me a cassette tape at the gas station when I was a kid and I, I listened to it and I was like oh, all right this is kind of cool it's not Def Leppard but this I believe is a bootleg this is Voodoo Brew Rolling Stones and this looks like it's uh, the Voodoo Lounge, but it's all like the outtakes and rough mixes. And I listened to part of this too, actually. This sounded kind of better than um, the final product because obviously the stones, I think, are at the best when it's kind of choppy. It's There's mistakes in there. It's not overproduced. You actually hear a band in a room. So very cool. That's a great cover too. And we also got Voodoo Stew. So we got Brew and Stew. So these are both bootlegs. Um, I think, yeah, this is just more of the same. This is more of the same. That's so bizarre that there's two of them. Was it that many outtakes for Voodoo Lounge? I don't know. Last one for this episode is actually cassettes. And this is Tommy Bolin. Tommy Bolin. No relation to Mark Bolin, unfortunately. You know, I'm not really familiar with his work either. I've known the name for a long time. Don't know the music. Looks cool. We're going to have to investigate. And that's what it's all about, right? You get these box sets. It's um, I just like it's the whole career kind of smashed into one big package. So we're going we're gonna to be able to listen to some of this stuff. I already know some of the stuff's going to have to move because I don't, my shelves are packed right now. So I'm having this whole, this whole last couple weeks, I've been going through my collection, weeding out stuff I don't care about, just don't need and uh, making room for the new stuff. It's been nice. It's actually been really nice. Raised some extra money, bought some uh, music gear, guitar wise. That will be for another episode, but Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching as we go through this. we got one more box to go through. So I, I do appreciate you guys. And all the comments down below. I do read them. I give you the heart. And I read them. I'm usually at work. I work constantly. Like this is my, my one day off to myself. Where I get to sit down. Clean up. Listen to music. Hang out. Talk to you guys. 
So um, until next week, guys, uh, do what you do and uh, toodaloo.